What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel, a channel where we're going to talk about my choice of a budget optic and the only budget optic that I would recommend that you earn, that you waste your hard earned money on. I got a comment recently talking about, oh, that rifle build or that pistol build, whatever you want to classify this thing as, that thing's awesome except for that $150 trash optic on there. Let's talk about it. Guys, before we do, leave a thumbs up emoji in the comments down below. If you enjoy the channel and you want to continue seeing content, it is super important that you leave a comment and like the video to defeat the algorithm God, a God that we do not understand, but we must give sacrifices to. And there you go. Guys, if you want to support the channel, there's going to be plenty of links down below. I'm going to leave a link for Palmetto State Armory. If you need to get an optic just like this, there's going to be a link down below. And it is the only budget optic I recommend for those of you guys that are balling on a budget. This might be an excellent video for you to enjoy. Okay, um, all the other things will be linked below. Here we go. Guys, the Sig Sauer Romeo 5, okay? That is the optic we're talking about here today. I got it on sale two to three years ago, okay? I got, I got like three or four of them on sale uh, a few years ago. This I can speak to this gun specifically. I have one on a one on a M70 Hugo that I know has at least 4,000 rounds with that optic on that rifle. It's a 7.62. I have one on. Oh, I'm trying to think of all the builds. Okay, I have one on a Wasser 10, one on a Hugo M70, one on this gun, one on a PSA budget build um, that I've used for testing on the channel. And one more, I don't remember what exactly, maybe it's on my KP9. I don't know, but let's talk to th just this gun alone. Out of those three, four, five, however many that I own, I have had zero failures with them. Are they the best dot? No, but they are freaking durable, reliable. They, um, they hold zero. I treat all my guns pretty much like shit, to be honest, okay? And they were all for about $120 about two to three years ago, probably a little longer. All I've done is change the batteries on them once, okay? Um, expectation, six hour Romeo 5. I believe it's a lifetime warranty. Um, if you use the link below, you can get them for exactly 119, okay, so $120. You can get them for the same price uh, today that you can get them, they're lifetime warranty, they're durable, and they are just an aim point ripoff. This guy right here, it's just a little aim point rip off that you know allegedly uh not that sig would rip off aim point but that's all it is dude it's just a cheap little red dot hold zero it's durable i drop them you can see how many scuffs are on this thing okay you can see how many uh scuffs are all over this optic it gets around what goes around comes around right and you know uh i've had no issues so if i had to recommend a budget optic for you that you could use on a realistic build uh similar to this mark 18 okay uh suppressed white light magnifier eotech magnifier behind it uh works great if you if i just if i had to recommend something um if you needed a beginner optic or if you just need to get a bunch of optics for a bunch of different guns i would recommend checking out the six hour romeo 5 i mean it's freaking on sale for 40 50 dollars off right now unrelated you know i just i looked up psa went to their website typed in romeo 5 and that you know uh one moa dot i believe and yeah they're freaking awesome i think i put blue loctite to hold the to hold them on all the guns that i have them on and they work great okay what matters more is going to be training uh i encourage you guys to get out and try to break your sig romeo 5 let me know down in the comments what optic you're running uh obviously i have RMRs and aim points and EOTech and uh, Trigicon ACOGs. I have all that stuff on the channel as well. But I think it's important to note that this little uh, Romeo 5 is just chugging along. For whatever reason, it won't break. It's not falling off the guns. It's not losing zero. They've taken a beating, you know, and they're just not, uh, they're not breaking, right? This gun, the, the reason that this gun still has a SIG Romeo 5 on the gun is because it won't come off. I Loctite it on there. I've tried, I've broken uh, several uh, tools off in there to try to get it off. I know you're supposed to heat it up or something weird to get Loctite optics, but it won't come off. So until, um, and actually right here on the front, it's all dinged up. I don't know if you guys could see that 
on the front of the optic there, it's all dinged up and silver. Uh, hopefully you guys are getting a little bit of that. But this thing gets treated pretty rough. It won't come off the gun, even I've even tried. It's freaking stuck on there. It, it holds zero, it's lightweight. It looks like an aim point. It's got the name SIG on it. So that, you know, a good way around that, you take some spray paint and spray paint over it, okay? Um, but yeah, let me know what experiences you guys have down below in the comments. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what budget red dot you recommend. Are you running an aim point straight up and just balling out, a but, or, uh, balling out of control or are you balling on a budget and you have also settled for the SIG Romeo 5 or a Hollow Sun? Let me know what experiences you've had, what works for you, um, and yeah, what, also, post down below what you want to see next. I'm kind of filming this video after work before I'm playing some Tarkov. That's why I got pulled up, pulled up back here. Okay, about to jump into a raid here in a minute. Um, name is Trench Grenade on Tarkov. If you want to play, just hit me up. Uh, we can run some PVE. But yeah, let me know what your experiences are with the SIG Sour Romeo 5. I want to know if you had any bad experiences as well. Be honest, you know, don't. Uh, fluff up your round count. I think I don't know if I told you guys this thing. This thing's got at least 8,000 rounds You guys have seen a lot of them on the channel um, But this gun has a lot of rounds through it and it just keeps chugging along with this little red dot so uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and until next time. This is gonna be trench grenade your average six hour budget red dot enjoyer signing out cheers <laughs>